of freedom, his spirit was born. Thara, they named him Thara, like the wind, like the wind that is free. Thara, they named him Thara, to be king of the bush, his destiny. In the secret mountain veins, through the mist and ancient trees, the ghost like horse so proudly silent as the breeze Thara they named him Thara he's the son of the wind strong and free Thara they named him Thara and the king yes the king he will be Following Thara's adventure in the secret caverns deep beneath the high country, life returned pretty much to normal. Arrow was grateful, not having to spend his remaining days trapped in darkness with nothing but frogs and moss to eat. And he would be even more grateful for a great honor that was about to be bestowed upon him. Oh, hi, Thara. I was wondering what had become of you. I've been off by myself doing a bit of thinking, Boom Boom, and deep thinking. Anything you'd care to share with a caring and supportive friend? <laughs> Thanks, but not just yet. Actually, I'm planning to go off for a few more days. By yourself? Yes, which means Arrow must be left in charge of the herd. It's his right by birth. Oh. And I'd appreciate it, Boon Boon, if you stayed close and kept an eye on things. Give Arrow advice when it's needed. Give Arrow advice? Well, if he's got any sense, he'll listen to someone smarter than himself. Thanks for the compliment, Thara. I'll do my best. Bless you, oh fabulous fluiness. I'm sure you'll get over that dousing you received in the river cave before too long. It was your fault, Karawong, that I fell off that ledge. You gave me the wrong directions. But I got the distinct impression, your optical impotentness, that you couldn't see where you were going. It was dark in that cave, Karawong, if I remember correctly. Very true, sire, and combined with the decline of your eyesight, common with the onset of old age. One more mention of old age from you, Karawong, will ensure that you won't live to see your own. Yes, yes, sire. I get your drift. Good. Now do something useful and get airborne. Check out Thaura's herd, see what he's up to, and report back to me. Aye, aye, El Magnifico. Right away. <laughs> Funny the way he starts worrying about Thara whenever old age is mentioned. <laughs> ah! oh. oh, my poor sword tail feathers. Hmm. Now, what's going on over there? Me? In charge of the herd? Wow! <laughs> Uh, me in charge of the herd, of course. Who else could possibly do it? Now, are you sure you're happy with that arrangement, Arrow? I wouldn't want to impose on you. The matter's settled. As of now, I'm in charge of the herd. Don't let me keep you, Thara. You've got better things to do. Bye. Very well. I'll see you both in a few days. Take care. Bye. Look after yourself. Yep. Uh, see ya. Don't hurry back. Right! Now, everybody, pay attention. With Tharagon, I'm in charge. What? Uh, now, we're, we're almost out of grass here. We'll all move further down the south end of the valley. Psst. The man's stockyards are in that direction. 
Surely we should move north. Man, we haven't seen him in ages. He's no threat. Everyone, move south. The grass is greener down there. Come on, Boom Boom. Arrow in charge of the herd. <laughs> this should be good for a laugh. According to our latest report, a herd of brumbies was seen grazing not far north of the stockyards. Ah, good. With a bit of luck, we'll bag the lot. Oh! Oh! Oh, a fine-looking brumby, a rising star. Welcome, stranger. Have you come far? See that? Went straight on by. Ignored me as though I was merely a fly. Nobody in sight. And quiet. Every time I've stuck me head out lately, there seems to have been a brumby in the way. Boop, boop, boop. Oh, I should have known. All right, Mopoke, make it quick. What is it? I've just encountered a grumpy horse. An arrogant stranger with manners coarse. A grumpy horse? Oh, no, not another brumby. There's too many of them already. I just thought you should know. I truly hope the creature will go. All right, Mopo. Thanks for the warning. Now I've got food together and a family to feed. Hello. See you later. Grumpy. Stranger, you're new around here, aren't you? Yes. I'm a Brumby from the West. Really? Welcome to the high country. Can I be of any help? Hmm, quite possibly. I'm looking for a mate to return with me back home. Are there no fillies in the West? Yes, but none of noble stock, as I'm sure you are. Oh. Uh, what did you say your name was? I didn't. And just forget it. I'm quite happy here. Thank you. Oh, come now. I'm a champion compared to the nags you have around here. I'm known as the Prince of the West. Oh, you're nothing but an arrogant upstart, if you ask me. If Thara would hear you say that... It... All right, I'm in charge. Now, what's going on here? Huh. Thara, I presume. Thara? Arrow's the name, stranger, and Thara's not fit to lick my hooves. I'm the strongest, the fastest. <laughs> <laughs> well, that doesn't say much for the mighty Thara, then, does it? <laughs> oh, of all the cheek! We'll circle round to the head of the valley, then move along. If they're there, we'll drive them into the yards. Rightio. Sorry, Whipbird. Thara's away for a few days. I suggest you wait till... Advice? Hey! This is your lucky day, Whipbird. 
With Thower away, I'm in charge and available for consultations. Well, I don't know, Arrow. I really think... I'm older, wiser and stronger than Thower. Just tell me your problem with Bird and it's as good as fixed. Well, OK. It's like this, Arrow. I think my eggs are in danger. There's a snake over there and... Snake! Don't worry, it'll be... Run, everybody! Snake on the loose! Run for your lives! <laughs> oh, well, it looks like it's up to me. Where's the snake, Whitbird? Over here! That's okay. Glad to be of service. Now, I better get back and try and find the herd. Hmm, a mighty handsome filly, that one. But she seems to be stuck on this Thaura character, whoever he is. But I'll convince her. If it's the last thing I... Wombat coming through! Wombat coming through! Ouch! What do you think you're doing? Oh, typical, typical. As soon as Thara goes, another Brumby comes to take his place. Out of the way. And what makes you think I should get out of your way, Grumpy? Everybody gets out of my way. That's the way it is. And that's the way it's always been. Hmm. Very well. If you insist. I do insist. Thank you. <laughs> Very much. <laughs> Ow! Saved the whole herd from a dangerous snake. I'll bet Thara couldn't have done that. <gasps> this whole thing of being a leader is harder than it looks. Having to answer silly questions, having to lead the herd to safety, having to fend off intruders. <gasps> <sighs> Quite tiring, in fact. <laughs> What's this, Wombat? Are you playing pink cushions or something? No jokes, please. Just get these echidna quills out of my rump. <laughs> oh! Oh! Thanks, Mrs. Dingo. That's one I owe you, I suppose. That's all right, Wombat. Glad to be of service. And it's also one I owe that... That no good, mean, rude, and obnoxious brumby. Bye, Wombat. Take care. Oh, hmm. Now, what's become of Arrow? I want to give him a piece of my mind. Ah, there he is. Arrow? What are you doing over... You again? What are you doing here? More to the point, what are you doing here? I left you back there, but you seem to have caught up. Changed your mind, did you? Certainly not. Arrow led the herd off after a snake scare. Hmm. Your esteemed Arrow seems to be missing, along with Thaura. Just as well you got me here to watch after you. I don't need anyone watching after me, thank you. I'm quite capable of watching out for myself. 
<laughs> you look even more noble when you're angry. <laughs> oh. Beauty. They're even closer to the yards than I'd hoped. I will move upwind and catch them by surprise. Radio. <laughs> Welcome, welcome to the high country. <laughs> well, well, well. What have we here? I'm E and he's Mew. And I must say, you're very handsome, don't you think, Mew? Oh, absolutely and most categorically, E. Eh? Goes without saying. Yes, but I said it anyway. And he also looks very strong and very fast. I'm as fast as the wind and as powerful as a hurricane. <laughs> ah, but are you as fast and as powerful as the Brolga? The Brolga? I've heard about Thaura and Arrow, but who's this Brolga? Who's the Brolga? Uh, who's the Brolga? Who's, who's the, the Brolga? <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's what I said. Who's the Brolga? Oh, just King of the Cascade Brumbies, that's who. Yep, His Royal Highness King Brolga, that's who. That's who he is, all right. Well, from what I've seen, that doesn't mean much. Pretty ordinary-looking bunch of Brumbies around here, if you ask me. <laughs> Hear that? Another stampede. <laughs> They've probably been scared by a skink this time. <laughs> yeah! 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 What's become of Arrow? He should be here. Yeah, yeah. Hey, stupid! Can't you hear that? Uh, I... Uh, what? Boon Boon and the herd are in trouble. You'd better go and rescue them. Yeah, yeah. What? You're the herd leader. Go on, get to it! <laughs> the Brolga would have my tail feathers if I let his daughter get caught. I'd better go and tell him what's up. Aha! Here's my chance to show that filly what I'm made of. Redoubtable 
Ramesses. I wonder what happened to the rest of the herd. Captured, probably. All Thara's fault for deserting us and going off by himself. <laughs> so, here we have it. A smart Alec who thought he could impress my daughter with deeds of daring, eh? but ended up needing saving himself. Listen, Thaura, it was going well until that stupid... Thaura! Arrow... Ah! How dare you insult me by confusing the mighty Brolger with that puny weakling? Oh, all right, Brolger. I don't know who's who around here, but Boon Boon and a few others seem to be pretty impressed with Thaura, whoever ah. he is. What? Get out of the high country while you're still able, stranger. That's my advice to you. Oh, yeah? Well, I'm known as the Prince of the West, a born leader. I wouldn't mind taking over here myself. <laughs> and count yourself lucky to be let off so lightly. You can keep your flea-bitten wombats and brumbies. Who wants them anyhow? So much for the Prince of the West. The important thing is you're safe, Boon Boon. Any stallion that wants you as a partner will have my approval first. I appreciate your concern, Father, but I would prefer to choose my own mate and have you respect that decision when the time comes. Hmm. And who might you have in mind? Well, I mean to say Arrow's proven to be such a dashing leader. Perhaps it's him. <laughs> All right, daughter. I can take a hint. I'll mind my own business. For the moment. <laughs> it would seem, with the help of Wombat and the Brolga, that the Prince of the West will have to find a partner elsewhere. Most animals of the high country, meanwhile, eagerly await Thara's return. But Arrow. Having enjoyed a taste of power is not as eager as the others. <laughs>